Hello and welcome back to Bits and Bobs. Today's video is all about the Henry VII halfpenny from the late 1400s, when he reigned and when this coin was made. So here we have the reverse design, we'll go through the design first and then move on to the facts and figures. So here to the reverse we can see the standard long cross design reaching to the edges of the coin to help prevent the coin from being clipped. Well as you can see for this coin as it is clipped, it did not work very well. Within this there's then a ring and there's three dots within each quartering of the ring on the design. Outside of this inner circle around the edge of the coin is the legend of the coin in Latin reading Civi Tas Lon Don, which basically means, as you might have been able to even tell, City of London, where the coin was made, minted at London, in the Tower of London, where all coins were struck at this time, including of course this coin as it says. So there's the reverse design and of course a very simple one as it was all done by hand and then struck by hand as well in the Tower of London back in the day. Moving on to the obverse, now we can see a portrait of the king, King Henry VII has said. He faces out of the coin, that's known as a facing bust in the numismatic world. His portrait, as you can see there, is crowned with a large crown with cross to the top, and then underneath the crown of course is his main portrait. He has long hair, and his neck and shoulders are just cutting off there around the border. There's then a beaded border around his portrait, and yet another Latin legend. This time the Latin legend reads, Henric die gra rex, meaning Henry by the grace of God, king. So showing that he's obviously the king, as he's on the coins and he's ruling as well, but also he's been chosen by God to be king, the divine right of kings, as was believed God chose who the king was back in the 1400s. So there's an overview of the design, and we'll now move on to the facts and figures of the late 1400s Henry VII halfpenny, a coin as said minted in the Tower Mint, based in the Tower of London at the time where all the coins were struck. The coin is composed of 0.925 silver, so 92.5% pure silver, or known better as sterling silver, for use within the coin. The coin is a very small coin, only half a penny denomination, and a very small weight as well, of only 0.46 grams, so less than half of a gram. And the diameter is also very small, 11 millimeters across, so much smaller than any coin we'd use today for comparison. The mintage is unknown, however, for Henry VII's coins, the half penny, this coin, is a scarce denomination and less commonly seen than other denominations such as the groat or higher value coins. The half penny is, of course, worth one half of a pence. This was one twenty fourth of a shilling or 1 480th of a pound, so there'd be almost 500 of these coins to every pound. And in the late 1400s when this coin was used, half a penny was equal to £1.91 today. So it would have been the equivalent today of a £2 coin or a half penny back then in Henry VII's reign, and the coin was demonetized, as all hammered coins were, in 1697 under the recoinage of William III. So there's the facts and figures, and now on to the value of this coin today for a collector. So it'll sell for around £40 in a poor condition, around £100 in fine condition, around £250 in very fine, and then up to around 500 and even more than 500 in the extremely fine highest possible grades. Prices for Hammond coins do vary more, as it's much harder to grade them, as you have to take into account the wear of the coin, as with other coins, but also the clipping and how much has been clipped off or lost of the coin. So that's just a rough price guide. So there we go. Please, of course, do subscribe if you learned something new and enjoyed. And of course, thank you for watching to the end, and we'll see you again soon for some more coins in the future on Bits and Bobs.